even though we're staying closer to home this Christmas because of the pandemic. The pandemic can't keep Christ away. We open our homes and our hearts to Him who gives us joy, peace, and hope, whatever we face in life. At Christmas time, many families celebrate the happiest time of the year, the birth of the Christ child. They're singing, they're praying, they're rejoicing. They're thanking God for sending His Son, Jesus, to be the Savior of the world. In almost every home, we find a Christmas tree. It's trimmed with colorful ornaments, shining lights, and crowned with a bright star. Families gather around this tree to exchange Christmas gifts. But to those who know and love Jesus, Christmas means more than just trees and gifts. Christmas is a time when the Christ child once again comes into our homes. And in their homes, many Christian families sing again beloved Christmas carols. The carols tell of Christ's birth. ago, God made the world in which we live. When God was finished, he saw that it was good. His beautiful world was now ready for his family, the first family. God created Adam and Eve. Adam was the first father of God's family. Eve was the first mother, and these two had many children. This was only the beginning. Soon there were many, many people in the world. God wanted everyone in his family, every home, to be happy in his beautiful world that he had made for them. He wanted them to be like him and to remain as children. But God's children sinned. Adam and Eve disobeyed God and were no longer like him. Yet God still loved the people he made. He promised them a Savior after they had sinned. God's prophets repeated this promise of a Savior many times before Jesus was born. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. The story of Jesus, God's Son, is good news. He came to live on this earth and to shed his blood on Calvary's cross. He did this because he loved all the families and all the homes of this world, including your home and mine. This is the account of Jesus' birth found in the Bible. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. 
and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife. When Mary and Joseph entered Bethlehem, they found the narrow streets crowded with many people. Many others had come to Bethlehem to be taxed. Joseph had trouble finding a place where he and Mary could stay. He knocked on many doors, but there was no room. At last, Joseph came to an inn. Again, he asked for shelter. All the rooms were taken, but the innkeeper did have a lowly stable to offer. He led Mary and Joseph to this humble place. The stable was not the kind of room that Joseph had been looking for, but it was quiet. It was peaceful. It was away from the noisy crowds. Mary and Joseph were grateful even for this shelter. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. At times, we have complaints about the homes in which we live. But what is that compared to Jesus' first home, a stable? The account of Jesus' birth continues in Holy Scripture. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.
And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And so the shepherds hurried to Bethlehem in the dark of night. The town was fast asleep. No one was found on the city streets. Houses were dark. The angel had said the Lord had been born in Bethlehem. He must be there, the shepherds thought to themselves. Up and down the streets they went. They knocked on doors, waking sleepy people to ask, Do you know where a baby was born this night? At last, the shepherds found the place where Mary and Joseph were staying. They gazed in wonder and adoration of the little child, for they knew that he was God's son, the promised Savior, as the angels had said. The shepherds were the first to tell others about the Savior's birth. Everywhere they went, they spread the good news that God had sent his Son into the world to save all people. The Christ child was God's gift to Mary and Joseph. But more than this, he was God's greatest gift to all the families and homes of the world. This precious baby's name was so important to this little family with whom he came to live. His name also has special meaning for all the families of the world in every home. God himself chose the name for his son. Many months before Jesus' birth, the heavenly father sent an angel to tell Mary and Joseph what his name should be. And so he was named Jesus. Jesus means Savior. He was and is the Savior of the world. Emmanuel, God with us.
Each year, families in every part of the world gather together to celebrate the birth of Jesus, their Savior. Now at Christmas, we too praise God and thank Him for sending His Son to be our Savior. We know that each family and home on earth, including ours, is richly blessed because God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. <laughs> 